Welcome back guys. We are here on Te Awaroa and we're starting the Great One Red Deer Grind. So the main objectives for this video is to adjust my stand and tent placements if I need to. I think I have it pretty good right now but I probably still need to make a few adjustments just to fine tune everything. I've done two or three runs already and it's working out pretty well. Also we're going to be taking out as many males as we can try and get respawns and there's also two rare females, an albino and a melanistic. I already have a piebald female, so if we get these two down, then I'm going to have all three, which is going to look awesome in the trophy lodge. Um, I still haven't gotten a rare male red deer yet, but hopefully we'll get some from this grind. So it is about 6.30 in game right now, and if you guys don't know, the red deer on Te Awaroa drink from 6 or 6.30 to 10 or 10.30. So we're going to wait for these guys to come in. Usually there's a group that drinks over here, over there, and over there. And then there's also a couple um, little zones that only have one or two at. So we're going to wait for them to come in. For the guns today, I'm going to use the 300 canning just to take them down a little bit quicker. It is overpowered for them, so you're not going to get um, the best score out of them. I also have the 303 which is a pretty good gun for red deer and that's going to be for if we find a diamond all right we got our first red deer coming in a little level four out there i'm also going to be doing the same thing that i'm doing for whitetail um instead of only shooting twos and threes i'm going to be shooting anything from five and up uh, because red deer go up to level nine and whitetail only go to level three so we're going to leave that little four alone, but if there's anything bigger out here, we're going to take them out. And we got a little level three out there, so definitely nothing big enough to shoot yet. Well, I don't actually see anything bigger than that level four, so I think we're going to have to move on to another lake. Actually, nope, that's just another level four. So I think we're going to move on to another lake, and we'll come back to this lake and see if there's anything bigger here in a little bit. And there we finally have something that we can actually shoot. We got a level 6 out there, and a couple of little level 4s. There is a, another level 6, and a level 5, and another level 6. So there's quite a few red deer at this little lake. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and try and take out both of those level 6s if we can. And that should have been a good shot. Might be able to get this guy on the trot. Oh yeah, looks like we hit him. But he's not dropping very fast. Oh, we got another one into him. That looked like a lot better shot. We did get both of those level 6s, and one's floating back right now, so we'll wait for him to come back. Oh, actually, that level 6 is still standing out there. And we got him. Well, we should have got 3 at least. And here's that first level 6. We got him with a long shot. Not a bad little red deer there. And here's that second level 6 that we shot. And we'll go pick up that third one that we shot. And then I think we'll hop down and try and take out that albino. And here he is. Not a bad little red deer. Alright. And that albino I have down at this lake here. I have two red deer drink zones down here. And it's actually a pretty good lake for them. And there she is. There's the albino out behind that little level 4 there. Let's see what kind of bucks we got in this herd. So just a bunch of level 5s and a little level 4. And man, she looks awesome. I'd really love to get a multi-mount with an albino male to put her in. Um, like I said, I already have a piebald female, so I'd like to get a piebald male as well. And we're going to get that melanistic also. So hopefully we can get um, any kind of rare male actually, and then we'd have a female to go with whatever kind we get. So I'm just going to take her out with the 300 because I really just want to get her down. 
There we go. That looked like a good shot. And she is down. That is our albino female red deer. And we should be able to get a male out of over here. There's a level 6 right there. We'll go ahead and take him out. Well, oh, not if he's going to do that. Might be able to sneak one in there. Oh yeah, we got him. And here she is, our albino female red deer. And man, that is a awesome looking trophy. So we'll definitely go ahead and taxidermy her. And we'll go grab this male, and then I think we'll hop over and try and get that melanistic female. And here's that male. Just a little level 6. Alright, so I have that melanistic at this lake right here. I got quite a few drink zones at this lake. It's not a bad little one for red deer, so definitely check it out on your own map. But we actually got a mythical out there, and this should be the herd that that melanistic is in. Not really sure where she's at at the moment, but she is in here somewhere. And there she is right there, just a little late getting to her zone. Uh, I can't quite get a spot on her, but that is her right there. Melanistic female red deer. We're gonna go ahead and take her out. That looked like a good shot, and she dropped. Try and see if we can get one of these males. See if we can get that level eight. That looked like a good shot. He's going down. Got a little level five there. Might as well take him out as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to shoot level 4s. I'm going to shoot anything higher than that, though. And we do have something out there, a little level 5. I think he's behind a tree, maybe. So I'm not going to take a shot at him. Uh, we do have a couple other ones out here. Try and get a spot on that one, level 6. Alright, we'll go for that one in the middle there. Can't quite get a spot on him, though. That looked like a good shot. Oh yeah, he dropped. And there should be some over here unless they spooked as well. No, that one's still there. And he dropped as well. So we got about four buck down and that melanistic female, so let's go get him. And here is our melanistic female red deer. And man, she looks awesome. So definitely go ahead and taxidermy her. And wow, she's going to look awesome in the trophy lodge. Not really sure where I'm going to put the albino and the melanistic yet. Um, I do have a piebald with my one diamond. Um, so I'll probably keep that the same. I'm probably just going to wait to put them up until I get a rare um, albino male and a rare melanistic male. That way it'll just look better in the multi-mount. And here's our level 8, 216 scoring. So, pretty nice one there. So already this is a great run with two rares. If we can get a diamond, that would just be the cherry on top. And here's that other male, just a little level 6. Got him with a nice heart shot. And we should have one more laying down over here. And up here is our final male from this lake. It was just a little level 6. So let's go try and find a diamond if we can. And we got a level 7 out there. And a level 6. And a level 5. So we'll go ahead and take out that level 7 first. He's about 350 out there. 0 for 328. See if we can't get him. That looked like a good shot. And that level 5 is going to take off. Uh, actually, that level 6 is still staying there. And that was another good shot. And he is down. Alright, here's the first one, that level 6. Not a bad little red deer. And we got the level 7 up here. 198 scoring, so he would have just been over gold. 
All right, we'll head up here to this little inlet. Got a tripod set up on the bank there with a couple red deer zones on the opposite side of the inlet. Looks like we got a level six and a little level three out there. There's also a little level five, and I do believe that that is it. So we'll go ahead and take out that level six first. And that looked like a good shot. He's going down. And we'll try and get that level five. Well, he's not wanting to turn broadside, so we'll just go ahead and try and take that shot. Looks like we dropped him. Must have got him right in the brain. All right, here's our level six. Not a bad little red deer. And here's that level five. And we actually didn't hit brain. We got him right in the neck but still drop shot. All right, let's head on over to the eastern side of the map and try out these two lakes up here. All right, we got level eight out there. Not a bad looking red deer. And we got a couple more out here. Just some little level fours. There's a level seven. That one's not too bad either. And just some more little ones, couple level fives. There's a level 6 and another level 7, and a level 5. Hopefully we can find something a little bit bigger at the next lake, but we'll go ahead and try and take out that level 8 mythical. And that looked like a good shot. There's that level 7 still out there. Another good shot on him, and we'll go ahead and take out that level 5 also. And he's down. Alright, I think that is probably it. Oh, there's another level 5. Might as well take him out. Try and get as many respawns as we can. See if we can get that level 6 on the trot. Oh, gotta reload. Alright, looks like we nailed him. Ah, uh, he's not dropping though, so... Eh, yeah, he'll go down. So we got five down from this lake. Not too bad. Alright, here's our level eight red deer. Not a bad one. 212, so he would have been a gold. And here's a, another red deer that we got. A little level five. And here's that one that we got a bad shot on. He definitely ran a little ways. And yeah, we hit him really far back. Here's the fourth one that we got. A, another little level five. And that level seven is right up there on the other side of this little hill right here. So we got five in total from this lake. So that's definitely going to help out with the respawns. And here is the level seven. So yeah, not a bad one at all. Just would have been a gold, just barely. So we'll go ahead and hop up here to this lake. This is gonna be the last lake because we're gonna run out of time. This is a lake that I got two diamonds from um, after the map reset, which is just crazy to me that after a reset there is two initial spawn diamonds at the exact same lake. Didn't have a, another diamond red deer at any other lake. I did have those two rare females, but no other diamonds. And the only two that came from that map reset just happened to be at the same lake. I made a video on that, and you guys can go ahead and check it out on my channel. And we got a level 6 out there. There's usually a lot of red deer at this lake. And right there is another level 7. And there's a little level 3 out there. And we got a 6 right there. So there's not a lot at this lake. But we'll go ahead and take them out for the respawns. Eh, that wasn't too good of a shot on him. We'll try and get another one into him. Well, there's definitely not a lot at this lake, 
So we'll go ahead and try and take out a couple for some respawns. That looked like a good shot on that level 7. Not sure where he went though. Might have dropped him. And we got that 6 right there. Might as well take him out. And that must have been a bad shot. Not really sure where we hit on him. But it'll still go down with the 300. So... Doesn't actually look like that 7 went down. But we'll go ahead and track that level 6. Oh, uh, so I actually just realized that I'm zeroed for 82 yards. So I think that was the issue. I think I was shooting uh, really low on them. So that's probably why I made a couple bad shots. Well, that level 7 did actually go down. So I guess we'll go ahead and track him because I'm not seeing that level 6 um, hunting pressure pop up. So he might not have went down. Usually, though, it doesn't really matter where you hit him with the 300. They usually go down. Um, so that level 6 is probably going to go down. But if he doesn't, then oh well. Well, that level 6 did go down, so we'll go ahead and try and find his blood somewhere. I think he was standing, yeah, right in here. This is where, yeah, right here is where we shot him. So we'll get Rusty on the trail. Oh, and he did not go very far at all. Actually, it looks like he ran up there and then started to come back, but yeah, we hit really low on that, which is because uh, we were zeroed for 82. I thought we were zeroed for 328. So, we're definitely hitting really low on these. Alright, looks like we got a little bit of blood right there. So, we'll get Rusty on this guy as well. Oh, and we actually ran right past him. He uh, tried to double back. Well, here he is. And, yeah, again, we hit really low. He was uh, 316, and we were zeroed for 82. So, definitely going to drop at that distance. But... If you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment something, and I'll see you guys in the next one.